Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about feeling like you're treading water, feeling like you're not progressing and being a little bit sad about it. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story actually. This person reached out on one of my old videos and stated that Frederick, I feel like I've been trying my hand at this programming thing for four months now and I feel like it's such a long way to go before I understand all the things that I need to get to where I want to be in my career. But I hope and I, I and I hope that I will get there, but I'm unsure that then this is normal to feel right. And the short answer is yes, it's very normal to feel that way. I would say that it is one of the it's one of the first and foremost difficulties that every programmer has to go through. Let me explain. So it's important to, for you to know that software engineering and becoming a real programmer is not something that you do in three months. Why is that something that I keep on saying? Because if you watched any of my other videos on this topic, you will know how I pretty much always state that this is not going to happen. And the reason why I think it's very important for you to know that it requires a bigger effort. It's not beyond you, it's just a more a bigger effort. It's because of this exact thing. This person is telling me that after four months it feels overwhelming and it feels hopeless to become a software developer. Guys, after four months most people who learn how to program who go to the university, they're not even done with their first semester. Think about that for a moment. This person has somehow convinced themselves that they should be further ahead after four months of training and, and somehow they feel hopeless over the fact that they haven't progressed further. What type of expectations do you have? How does that feel to this? In, how, how must this must this person feel? They must feel absolutely horrible. It must feel absolute uh, must feel awful to feel like you're too dumb or you're too uh, that things aren't moving at the speed that you want after four months. Because if you're thinking that you that this is the problem that I've been trying to describe to so many people and it's why I get so I get so tired and so frustrated with these boot camps that will try to convince you that you're going to be a pro in three months. You're not guys. After three months of training you're barely, barely a beginner programmer with some experience. You're barely a junior developer. It's such a short amount of time to learn so many things. It's a very big area to uh, software engineering. It's an enormous area. You can spend the rest of your life programming and you're never going to learn it all. If you want to become a professional developer, as I've said many times before, the average time it's going to take you is one to five years. And that depends not just on how much you study, it depends on how much you do in terms of work as well. Because most of the job postings that you have out there available to you is going to state that we're looking for candidates, usually the minimum requirement is one to two years of experience. And it goes up to five years, it's usually, and, and there are of course job available, uh, availables, uh, job availables, uh, job that are available with, that require even her higher education than that. But what's important here isn't the time guys, it's, it's the expectation, it's the, the pressure this poor man, this poor person is putting on, on, on themselves. It's such a horrible, horrible downer for you to have that you feel like you should be further ahead when you really from at least if you look at from if you look at yourself from my eye from my through on my eyes i literally am stating to you that when i had 4 months of experience i knew barely enough to produce basic applications when i'm talking basic stuff guys 
as I was saying, the people who went to university, we, would, we weren't even done with our first semester, for, for God's sakes, after four months of work. And here you are thinking that you should be ready to take a job. No, you're not. Maybe there are some places where you could get some employment and they would train you the rest of the way, guys, but you have a long way ahead. And that is part of it. That's why I want you to have the right expectations. I don't want to kill your bus. I've never wanted to kill your bus or your enthusiasm for becoming programmers. I want to help you become a programmer. And part of helping you to get to where you want is to give you a realistic understanding of what it is that you're about to embark on. Because if I can give you that, then you can start realizing that there are people out there who will tell you nonsense. They will tell you that everything is just um, easy and that you can just get whatever you want with the bare minimum effort. And that is not true because usually they say that in the same breath as they are telling you that there is this thing that you can pay for that's going to give you that. And they usually get a slice of that pie. I make absolutely nothing from telling you that this is not so. I'm not selling you a goddamn thing. I'm really only giving you the perspective of somebody who's gone through this journey before. I did it not that many years ago. And I meet people every single day. And I coach people every single day who are where you are today. And all of them have made it. All of them have the same situation as you. Well, they're, they're, they have their own stories. Everybody has their own stories. But in essence, they are in the same boat. And we make sure, when I work with these people, to go through what it is that they are going to require in order to make it and the expectations that they're going to have to fulfill. And they have progressed enormously since. They are getting to exactly where they want to be. So. What I want you to take away from this is that, of course, it's absolutely normal for you to feel overwhelmed. If you think that you're going to be a professional software developer or be further ahead or get your first job in four months, that is an enormous amount of pressure to put on yourself because it's just not realistic for most people to progress at that speed. It's honest to God, when I was starting out myself, as I was saying, after four months, guys, I could barely produce a working web application. It takes longer than that to become really good at software engineering. If you want to be a full stack developer or make any type of meaningful application development happen, you're going to have to be in it for more than a few months. With that said, I want you to understand that this is not beyond you. You are not dumb. You're not stupid or unable to learn software engineering. You can do this. I promise you that you can do this. It, I've seen it happen to everybody. I've seen people from all areas, all ages, make it through software engineering education and start to work as professional grade software developers. I work with them every single day. And they're everything from people, middle-aged people who are self-taught down to small, like 20, like embryo level, 20, 21 year old kids out of college who've never even held a job before. And they got it on the first try. And some of them had to work for several years and because they're self-taught. And then they also made it. Everybody has the ability to become a software engineer if you truly want it to happen. But you have to understand what the, what the investment means. That's what I want you to understand by talking to you about these things. And because once you know that, you can just tune out all these people who are telling you that you should be this and that in three months and four months. And if you just pay me, I will teach you all my black art secrets for how to be a successful developer or how I got into Google in three months and etc. Like just fucking ignore it. It's so much noise, guys. And set your expectations realistically. And if you're in it for the long run, I promise you, you're going to make it through. You just have to be willing to put in the work. Have a great day.